I'm gonna take the cheese quest. But I need like I need to find one more temple and I can't remember where it, where it is. For all I remember it can actually be on Regna, come to think of it. Uh, master merchant. Master merchant? Master merchant. Master merchant? Perception, do I have it? No. I have meditation though, so I need to I need to stop by in in Ravenshore and grab expert uh, meditation. Just because. Expert Dark Elf, Master Chain, Expert Dagger, no. Master Spear. Oh, I think I know where he is. I think he's somewhere in these couple of houses. No. There we go. Okay, so now I can sell all of the gems that I got, and it did get a lot of them. It should be enough. Yes, good. And I have enough for Grandmaster Merchant, and Grandmaster Merchant is going to be awesome. Mm, GM Merchant, GM Merchant is down there. Okay, good. I remember. Man, if only I got... Oh, what? That was the wrong one. There we go. Uh, money troubles are gone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually... I'm actually going to go to Alvar again. And I'm going to... I'm going to go into the Dark Dwarf Mines. Um, I always like going to the Dark Dwarf Mines because you... I think there's like a a guarantee to get Ring of the Plains or whatever the hell it's called. And I really like that ring. Um, it gives you like a lot of resistances and lovely things. So I'm definitely keen to grab that one. The artifact is in Pirate Outpost. Uh, you mean Terminus? Yeah, I know. It's a guarantee that is there. It's... Oh, okay. So let's just use Dark Fire. Okay, good. Excellent. I know about Terminus. Um, Terminus is always in the Pirate Outpost. And I know that because Terminus is my favorite sword in... And my magic eight, um, it is just so incredibly good. Thank God that my things aren't getting broken by the boulders. Although they do literally hit like a brick, but whatever. Also, I I seem to have a need for better disarm trap ing. Oh, there is just an expert. Um, you know what? Yeah, like I, I don't need anything else, so I'll just go with that. Yeah, <gasps> shit. Although. Also, the weirdest thing in the game, uh, dwarves with crossbows and yet they try and fight you hand to hand. Like, uh. Don't mind me, I'm just cheesing some encounters. <laughs> Am I able to hit anybody across this place? No. Dark Dwarf Pounder is really not something that you want to hear as a lonely Dark Elf female <laughs> underground. Oh no, I just said that I could get Terminus. Um, hmm. Okay, now I... Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come back here later uh, once I have some more perception. Because I want to be able to see the traps on the floor, because those, those rock blasts actually tend to kill me quite often. I'm not ashamed to admit it, I always get killed by, the, by that 
particular trap. Um, meditation expert. Uh, let's get back to Ravenshore. I know I'm I'm changing my mind all the time, but you know it's it's a, it's a relaxed playthrough with a solo dark elf of Might Magic Eight. And we're meant to have fun. Business was a pleasure. My God, I get experience so quickly. That is so awesome. Mm. Hmm. Oh yes, expert meditation. I got 16 spell points. Lovely. That's almost half of a dark fire cast. <laughs> yeah, some people are way too serious about video games. Um, whereas I've I've stated on numerous occasions that I'm usually like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I just want to have fun, especially with mind magic. Like mind magic for me is like the best way to chill out. Oh my god, I need to stretch a bit. Okay. So I'm actually gonna go and see how bad the uplifted library is going to be. I may just get completely owned. But then again, like, the lost library is not really hard to reset. And you know what, I'm probably actually going to get Terminus, why not? Why not? Okay, so... We did some damage, thanks to our lovely spell. There we go. See, this is what I meant. It's it's going to be fairly easy because I can just reset it whenever I want to. Yeah. So yeah, the library is not that bad. Uh. Yeah. Well, the thing is. If I had, like, a full party, at this point, I would have had, like, four characters that have level... That started out as level 50 and would be, you know, completely godlike. Mm. And I usually start with a with a knight and then have a vampire, a dark elf, a cleric, and a necromancer with me. Mm. So it's it's, like... At that point, the game is really friggin' easy, right? Um, but I, I do have to be a bit more careful, um, since, you know, solo Dark Elf. Mm, although, I think Mind Magic 8 is really fun to play with... Uh, with a party of uh, characters that have the same class. Uh, I especially like having five Dark Elves. <laughs> you just become a, a, a ranged murder machine. Oh, I usually start with a Knight and go straight for Cory. I, do, I don't even bother with the level 5 ones. Unfortunately, that guy did hit me. Okay, good. Oh wait, is he alive? No. Okay. I cannot for the life of me tell whether or not he is alive or not. Oh no! Come back! Oh, thank god, it came back. Can you imagine soft locking this place? Just because you accidentally, you know, took the lift or sent the lift up. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is anything up there, no. Incinerate. Day of Protection. That is good. 
Can I just rest here somewhere? No? I'm not actually sure whether or not you get any... Um, you can get any spells out of this uh, dungeon, but... I'm kind of hoping to get something at least. Yeah, that's that's the thing with mind magic games. You can approach them in like several different ways depending on how you feel like playing it, which I think is a big plus. Um, I'm still thinking and planning on doing a a um, Earth magic only playthrough. I still haven't decided which one I'm going to do it in though, and how I'm gonna do it. Let's see if we get any other... What? Okay. What did I get? Enslave. Dragon Breath, Hour of Power, Dark Grasp. So, I got Hour of Power and Death Protection. That is good. Seriously? There is actually another streamer doing Mind Magic 6 Earth Magic only. That is actually surprising. Okay, we're in Splitter, unfortunately. Shield! Excellent. Shield is gonna be great. Lost Book of Kel, I'm gonna take that. I cannot believe that that is actually a, a, a thing. But here's my here's my problem, right? Um, what are the rules of doing a, a, an Earth Magic only playthrough gonna be, right? Because I have the option of like if, if I play Mind Magic. Okay, so let's say I have the option of doing that for you know all three games, right? Mind Magic six, seven, and eight. Of course, that's the ones that I mean. And what are the rules? Like, do I have to only use earth magic? Do I have to use different classes that use earth magic? And then, uh, you know, like, use those classes at least? Or only? Um, okay, the regnum part is down. Okay, let's be safe. Like, I haven't quite decided, because this is what I mean, like... Am I only allowed... To just use earth magic, period. That means no bows, no melee weapons, etc. Am I only allowed to use earth magic? If yes, then the pretty much the best party in Might and Magic 6 would be, you know, just four druids, which is kind of boring. But if I'm allowed to use any other um, class then I can have you know like an archer as well as a sorcerer and things like that to have some more skills <gasps> oh shit that was a uh, that was close I'm allowed if I'm allowed to have you know like more skills and use you know like even weapons and bows I can you know spread out as long as I just use you know as long as the magic that I use is actually earth magic you know what I mean so there's a there's a couple of different ways that I can approach it and I still haven't quite decided how I want to do it Okay, so there's going to be that buccaneer there, or brigadier, so hopefully he doesn't kill me. He shouldn't. There we go. So brigadiers are incredibly powerful. I have a chance of dropping a very, like, very good swords as well, but unfortunately I didn't get lucky. Uh... A solo Earth is in only one character and he's using only Earth magic or solo Earth just using Earth magic and nothing else? Hmm, should I? You know, I think I could just rest and, and wait a few hours to 
just get my hit points back with the helmet. There we go. That is good enough. I still need something that gives me mana back, though. Did you die? Yes, you died. That's not entirely true, like I did the party-based uh, Mind Magic 7 playthrough. Um, but I, I, I would want something a little bit more light-hearted. Um, oh, wait. Of luck, okay, that's not really good. Okay, let's get Terminus. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I probably would go, like... Mind Magic 6 isn't really that much of a problem in that sense, right? Because as long as I can get Earth Magic... Oh my god, Terminus. Mm. Best goddamn sword. BFF. I love it. I swear to god, I love it. It is such a good sword. For a knight, this sword is like... Mm. Best sword in the game. Yeah, like that's what I was thinking, right? Um, because it, it, because that way I can I can basically have the same rules for Mind Magic's for Mind Magic six, seven, and eight, right? I can just make a mixed party, which I feel like would be much more interesting than just having you know uh, uh, six druids and Mind Magic seven, because that's that's really where the game uh, or the six sorcerers in Mind Magic uh, seven, which is where I think that the game or the gameplay will differ most, right? Because in Mind Magic six, it doesn't really matter which which uh, class I have, as long as they can er use Earth magic, you know, they can master it. So it's not really a problem. I can have an archer, I can have a druid, I can have a sorcerer. That's good, okay. But in Mind Magic seven. The only body, the only uh, class that can become a grandmaster is a sorcerer, which means automatically, if I if I choose to only have you know one class, it's going to be sorcerer because you know they can become a grandmaster. Because um, if I cannot use anything other than earth magic, period, uh, I will want to have as much power as I can have in earth magic, right? Um, and that's pretty much what I was debating with myself, um, but I kind of feel like just having, you know, a mixed party and then just ha just having earth magic uh, and it being the only magic that I can use is probably the best way that I can get through the challenge. It's gonna be fun for me, it's gonna be fun for, you know, anybody that's watching. And that's pretty much it. Like that that's where my thoughts are at, and I accidentally sold uh Hour of Power. Somebody please shoot me right now. I am waiting. You can find me on planet Earth. So yeah, like, like that 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 uh, that's what I was basically thinking. That's where my my uh my thoughts are at. You know what? I'm going to sell these things. Um do I need this? Actually, I'm gonna keep this because I might end up needing this still. I'll sell these things. I'm gonna keep stone skin for when I actually have to fight the uh, the pirates. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. I love the water pistol or whatever the hell that <laughs> that you know like emote was. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, I need expert earth magic as something I just remembered. I have terminus now. Mm, we have the lost book of Kel, which means which means to get the lich promotion, I still need to get the lich jars, right? Hmm. Is that obtainable, though, is my question. Because I remember what happened in Mind Magic 7 when I tried fighting, you know, like, power liches and... 
<laughs> or Lich Kings or whatever, and the <laughs> Queens of the Tab, they just got owned by Dragon Breath. <laughs> Oh god, like just just remembering how how bad that was. Ugh. But if I can get through the lab, that means I can finish two quests, two promotion quests, right? So I think that would be a good place to try and do something in. You know what? Yeah, let's let's just go to Shadow Spire, why not? We're gonna go and try and do it. But we're gonna go to Ravenshore first again, get that disarm trap master. And I think that with my with my belt I should have a high enough uh high enough skill that I won't have a problem uh with chests blowing up. Where is the dude that actually teaches me that? Hmm. Am I misremembering this? Is he an Alvar? He can be an Alvar, possibly. Actually, scratch that. I think he is an Alvar. Shadow Spire. Alvar. Okay. Master Chain. Shield, Dark Elf, Mind, Disarm Trap, there we go. Okay, so I I have enough, I should have enough for, you know, chests not to blow up in my face ever again. So now let's go to Shadow Spire. Where's Expert Perception, by the way? Did I miss it? I'm gonna get Expert Perception someday. Uh, it's not really necessary, but I kind of want to have it, because why not? There we go. Now I need to get some food, because if we're going to go to Xanthora, we're going to be resetting the game fairly often, I feel like. There's always the possibility that I get completely owned. What? I didn't even need the lid jars? Did I just finish the quest? I just finished the quest. Okay, good. That was much easier than I expected it to be. Do not worry, I will still go to the lab. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. I also, I didn't say that bad word, but... <laughs> oh, that was, uh... <clears throat> that was surprising. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was actually a thing. Oh my god. Okay, so I need to go to Alvar and then back to this place to get uh, Master... Master Perception? There we go. Okay, so where is the Expert Perception? No, 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 no. Expert Perception, okay, good. So now I don't know the ballpark where he is in. Hey, there we go. As for perception and then master perception, and that's going to give me I guess a way to know whether or not there is, you know, any sort of secret anywhere.